what is going on guys it is your boy tropical habs back here today for a brand new video talking about the montreal canadians so today we're here to talk about jordan harris and uh the canadians defense defensive prospects but before getting into that i invite you guys to please subscribe and turn on post notifications i'm one of the fastest habs reporter habs reviewer out there on youtube if you want to be updated with everything that's going on with the canadians prospect trade rumors games uh, lineup and all of that you're at the right place of subscribe and turn on post notification as well as the like button if you like the video please smash the like button let's try and get 50 on this video that would be amazing so yeah let's talk about jordan harris and i was looking at this uh the other night uh well last night uh and jordan harris and uh, now in his last year of his contract he signed a two-year deal a two-year entry deal um he played his first year last year at the end of the season where he, when he played 10 games uh and he's playing his last year of that contract right now so he's going to become an rfa at the end of the season and with all the canadians prospect on defense right now you have king Gooley, harbor jacki harbor jacki has been doing way better than a lot of people expected you have Lena Hudson that's going to come. You're going to have Logan Mayu. You're going to have Justin Barron. You have all of those defensemen prospects that are coming really, really soon in the system. And you can't have only uh, young guys on your defense. You need some veterans. And then you have Michael Matheson that still has three years left on his contract. You have Henmanson that has two years left. And I think that you need to keep those guys to help the young guys develop. And I was wondering... Can the Habs possibly be trading Jordan Harris at some point, maybe next summer? Because uh, I know that at first and he didn't want it to sign in Montreal. Um, he wanted to go sign somewhere else. He wasn't too happy that the Canadians drafted him. He didn't want to come play in Canada. Uh, there was a lot of a controversial situation with that. Bergevin was saying that he was not going to sign. Uh, Kent Hughes convinced him after because he knew him pretty well. And my question is, um, would it work best for both parts to just trade him away to somewhere else, a place where he wants to play, and a place when, where he will have the place to play? Because uh, right now, he's he's been healthy scratch for one game. I think they're going to make a rotation with Jack Eye, but they won't be able to do that uh, for the next couple of years because... You have Matheson that's there, you have Gooley, and those two guys are really solid and are not going to move. So are they going to be just swapping those two all the time and affecting their development just because they have too much young defensemen? Uh, I think that's not a good idea, personally. So maybe that the Canadians would be tempted to let Jordan Harris get traded to somewhere and i think that jordan harris could be interested in that as well because he wanted to go sign somewhere else at first he wanted um to become a ufa and go sign with a team in the u.s that's what he wanted to do at first so uh will he be tempted to do that will he want to re-sign with the canadians i have no clue i'm not in his pants and i don't know the guy so i'm just speculating and yeah i'd rather see a guy a veteran guy just sit out and not play than a guy like Jordan Harris. So yeah, maybe the Canadians will get tempted to trade him away at some point next summer other than signing him. Trying to get maybe another prospect for him. A right-handed defenseman prospect because he needs some right-handed defensive prospects. They have Baron, they have Mayu, but sometimes you need uh, more just to get competition in, inside the lineup. Uh, but yeah, maybe in the future, Jordan and Jordan Harris, I'm not, I'm not saying this year, maybe it's going to be next year, maybe it's going to be in two years, but I feel like Jordan Harris will become the odd man out pretty quickly with the way Jackai, with the way Gooley has been playing, and I think that they all fit more than him in the future plan of the Canadians, they're big, they're strong, and they're fast, and I think that's what Ken Hughes and Jeff Gorton have been trying to do. So, yeah, I don't think that Jordan Harris is going to be a part of this team in the future. But, uh, yeah, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys all think about this in the comments below. It's been your boy Tropical Habs, and I'll see y'all later in another video. Bye-bye.